Yeah, I'm over at my friend's. I don't know what that was. <laughs> you said that last time we started the meeting. Really? Since something about enlightenment. Well, you never know who you're with, right? And <laughs> we are doing big things, so it makes sense that uh, perhaps you're from another world. Come to help us out. <laughs> So how uh, how was progress this week? Um, I, I definitely had a super busy week. Uh, next week I'll have a lot more time or the next couple of weeks and, and on. But um, I was able to build out the landing page uh, or most of it. Um, it's not like finished, but we can kind of go from what I've got and start making it functional, I guess. So um, I can screen share if you want. Sure. Um, I will make you a host. Or, I mean, yeah. There you go. So I haven't done the text or the text fields or made the mobile versions um, for resolution change, but that's kind of all the pieces in a grid. So, um, yeah, the uh, the drop down kind of half circle button under the main, um, like I guess, uh, main menu or content box in the center. Um, is would be the actual button with the arrow and the half circle <clears throat> and you would click on that and basically it would go from like welcome login or like the subtitle in that box to the next it, it would like click to log in or put the login button above it um, and then you click on that or I could do a different button style but seeing that box could kind of extend and um, replace that box with a taller box and then you'd have more area for text field boxes um, for filling out, like logging in or signing up. And you could have like a toggle within that to switch from sign in to log in or sign up to log in. Um, and then <clears throat> this uh, little message box for the text area or the text setting icon or yeah, the settings icon. Um, are on two different grid pieces kind of just closely butted up but like you would be able to click on the little gear and it would open up the text box so that's something you could add on the functionality side so it's just a different id or actually maybe a class but you want to look at the code no. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, I see what you got going here. <clears throat> um, yeah. Well, I mean, for the landing page, I just need to add the text and then would have the, the main text for like subtitle inside that box and then maybe welcome and then the login right above the circle where you could do a different style button. But then you click the button and it replaces that whole box with a taller one with more text fields and like a toggle button. So as far as like, I know that the button on the first landing page takes you to the login PHP page, correct? Um, That's how no, it was last well, time or before. Yeah, yeah so... <clears throat> So you would click on that and it takes you to the login PHP and on that page would I create another uh, CSS files and then like a, write the HTML again for that structure or, you know, because we'll get to a certain screen and that kind of process um, through clicking to the next one. And then so on each of those screens, am I doing on each of those PHP files, I'm writing the HTML again and then just keep adding stuff to the CSS file. 
for each of those screens? Um, and well, we can we can do it any way you want. Like um, normally, what I've done is I've just put all the HTML on one page, all the CSS on one page, and then just change what you see with JavaScript. And then once once you actually like completely finish logging in or something like that, and you need to change change like entire pages, then the PHP will just direct them to a new PHP page, which you can run different HTML and stuff. But as far as like the login goes, you know, that's usually how I've done it. It's just, it's all one screen, basically. It's just, you're seeing different things. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, like this box would fade out and then the larger, taller box would fade in. Just do a, like a, yeah. Yeah, a transition. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's Hello. I'm on a Zoom call. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What? But I'm over at a friend. <laughs> they have a bunch of people around. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that box for the little, I guess, uh, multiple settings box, text box for the um, settings gear icon would only pop up when you hit the gear. And it would have like uh, four or five different um, links that could take you to different parts of the overall build, like the profile settings page or back to the login page or a log out, sign out, okay. cool. that kind of stuff. Um, or in maybe a backward and forward, if it's gonna be kind of a, like a step-by-step -step movement through the beginning to kind of give you that option. Because the yeah, it seemed like the way you had it set up before is you go to like one screen and it's like pick the four values and then add something to it. So I guess not it's not changing screen, you're just adding content. Yeah, just kind of move study what you see with the JavaScript. Okay. So, so yeah, I can... you know, all I did was just to change the display to none or change the display to block or things like that, make it visible yeah. or invisible with CSS. And uh -huh. then boom, you know, that box disappears, this one fades in. Yeah. So if I just label it all really clearly in the CSS file, you'll be able to pick it from there. Does it organize it really well? So it's... Yeah, if you give them IDs and classes in the HTML, same things that they select. Like J, I, I just usually use jQuery, which is a library for JavaScript. Bootstrap relies on jQuery as well, but it just you just uh, you can basically do things with JavaScript by. Um, <clears throat> using the IDs and classes the same way as you, you target them okay. with CSS, you can target okay. them with jQuery. All right, cool. Yeah, so, so that's fine. Yeah, so, I just, sign I'll, whatever. Yeah. so yeah, I'll just build the class and um, or ID and CSS you can pull from there and kind of move things along and animate them kind of in a series. So I just kind of need to, when I do the CSS, I'll do kind of sections or titling in between the, co the sections of code. So that way you know what it's for. Um, yeah. um, well, because I mean, if some of the scenes, like I'm not, unless I'm creating the, you know, the new HTML within the new PHP for how the PHP kind of moves, and like this being like the the landing or index, and then that going actually it being the index, then going to new front screen, and then it goes to login. You know, is that how we want to? So if I did HTML on each of those PHPs and did my uh, grid layout, and then I add specific CSS for that screen or that point in the process and within the CSS and just kind of section that out. So you kind of know which screen is which. If I just put all of it there and then you pull from it to kind of animate it from how I have it organized in the CSS. Yeah, well, I mean. In yeah. HTML based like on the grids, yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, I was just kind of wondering what how we're going to do this kind of step by step process. Well, for now, let's just do let's just finish the home page for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can worry about the rest of the stuff at a different time. Just the uh, yeah, just get the home page looking the way it looks so that the first thing they do is they click login or forgot my password. Basically, those are the two options they should start with. Normally, okay. you can't create an account on here. 
there's no way to create an account because they're they're for now this is just a closed system we're giving to LCL. So there's no create account on here. That'll be something that happens in the back end somewhere. Okay. So there's just there's just login and forgot my password. Okay. And then yeah, if you can set it up to look look like a homepage that does those two things with with a couple buttons or pictures or whatever that say login and, and and then I can make that happen. And then yeah, I mean it'll come up with like and then you, what you can do too is you can make another uh, <clears throat> like on the same HTML page you can just make make it how you would look or how it how it would look. Uh, if they'd already clicked the login button, uh -huh. so what you could do just just temporarily uh, uh, don't display the, the original stuff and instead just display that stuff so that you can work with it and you can see how it'll look, and then switch it off again, display none or whatever, and then that way when I when I go to do it, they you know to just make the JavaScript happen, they click on the login button. That'll be an on-click thing that'll make this invisible and make that visible. And as long as you have those two pieces already finished, then it's just a simple transition. So okay. does that make sense? Yeah, so you're just saying, just keep writing all the HTML on this original file, the new front screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like if you, um, it, it, that's the easiest way. Like if you take a look at front screen.php, you'll see how we had it before. And it's uh -huh. just got like, the regular home page, then the login page, then the about page, then the the you know forgot password page. It's just all in a row okay. in the same HTML file. It's just the okay. CSS turns off the visibility for all the other ones. Okay, I'll I'll look at that. Um, yeah, and I noticed too the um, well, I'll make it so. Like I noticed you've you've added a CSS the CSS file into the the body instead of uh -huh. into the head. The CSS. That you could do that. It's just uh, the one that you added. It's already got all the CSS that we're using before, so it's gonna it, it might interfere with what you're doing. Huh? Let me look. That it's up. better to just make a make a make one yourself. Like you've got. Oh yeah, page, I can take all that start out. Start and landing yeah. page end. You can. Do, yeah, just have that on a separate file. That you don't need all the stuff that I had because that's just yeah. What I just had I, I haven't gotten around to doing that. Sorry, I was just kind of working off of a copy. I just hadn't deleted oh, yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, okay, well, um, yeah, I just need to add the text field buttons. And then, so I just am creating a box and a container or like icon for the text field. And then you're going to be able to um, tell it what to do. In that text field with the ID I give it. Yep. Correct. Okay. Yeah, it's just like yeah, it's pretty simple. Like actually, if you want to have a look at the JavaScript file, you'll probably see how it works pretty fast. It's it's just the same stuff repeated over and over again. Like, you know, I just uh target the HTML using CSS, so like hash, hashtag whatever for the ID or dot whatever for the class, and then tell it to do some J, J, uh, JavaScript stuff with that. And usually the JavaScript that I'm doing is just telling it to change the CSS. Okay. If that makes sense. So I'm just telling, I'm just targeting them with JavaScript, turning the, turning the visibility off, for example, or, or, move, or making the width bigger or stuff like that. So it looks like it's 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 animating it through CSS using JavaScript. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you probably didn't get a chance to try the slicing yet. I didn't finish. I did try it. I did get into it, but I haven't finished the the document. Um, yeah, sorry. I've been trying to. It's kind of pressing with another client, um, but yeah, after this weekend's kind of crunch, like I should have time this week to put a lot of work on or focus on this, less, less other work. Well, yeah, I think <clears throat> I think for now, if you can, yeah, get, get the homepage finished and working, like get the homepage finished, so all the parts there, I can make it work. Okay. Um, that's gonna be pretty good. If we can get all that done before the 30th. Um, yeah. Me and Elijah can, can do the back end and make sure that the rest of it's working and, and having a nice new front page is going to be pretty cool. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I can get the, I can do the login screen at the same time. Um, so that you'll have the, the CSS and the actual like image in there. Um, yeah, so I can, yeah, have the, the login screen or all of that done. So the release through that whole full like uh, landing page kind of scenario. And then I could start working on the profile probably this week as well, or for sure this week. I don't think it'll take me long to finish the login and the rest of the the main home screen. Well, okay. Well, let's. Uh, I mean, it kind of goes together goal. quickly, huh? Yeah. And like, uh, as soon as you get the homepage stuff done, though, send me an email, and then I can make it work. And okay. then I might need you to, to to create a couple other things because, yeah, let's just do it one thing at a time. I think because we only have ten days left here on our deadline. Maybe yeah. Don't start okay. the profile. Anymore. Is what I mean. Well, but I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, the login screen to me, it was just going to change the shape of that box on the landing page. It's going to make it taller, and then you'd have more room for other text fields for your login stuff. Just kind of like you have it before, like it just the box changes a bit. But then uh, there's the responsive stuff, right? Like, does this home page work on different screen sizes already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know. I didn't get to the mobile version okay. yet. I didn't get I didn't get any other screen sizes yet. Yeah, I'm right, worried about mobile it. actually. Huh? Not even just mobile, but the, all the just the computer. I know sizes. all the other resolutions. Cool. Yeah, it's looking really good. Yeah, well, um, like I said, I just haven't had a lot of time. I worked on it today. Um, it was kind of the first full day I've had to get focused towards it. So. Yeah, and I'm kind of in a partial other meeting. It's just been a busy week. But I, this this coming week, I definitely have a lot more time. So I'll get it done. Do you, when do you want to do the next meeting? Um, maybe Thursday again? Does that work for you guys? When? Uh, Thursday again, same time. Thursday, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's it. I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, well, good to see you guys. Have a good day, evening, morning. Yeah, you too. <laughs> All right, bye. You too. <laughs> yeah. All right, you and me got ten days. <laughs>